Your god always wins. It is the longest unbeaten streak in the history of the world. Yet J.M. Christensen fearlessly took up arms in that battle to oppose the inevitable. Throwing himself at an enemy that has never known defeat and assures I'm standing here and never will. One could not be blamed for wondering if J.M. came to see his life's work as a fool's errand. A rube. Finally realizing that the game he's been playing will be forever rigged against him. But my dear friend J.M. was a fine man and certainly he was no fool or rube. He and I spent our lives tilting at the very same windmills. So why have I not lost hope like he did? Because those windmills at which we tilted were created by men to turn grindstones that transformed the Earth's bounty into flour. From such humble beginnings grew the astonishing modern world in which we now live. We cannot conquer the mountains, but our railroads now run through them with ease. We cannot defeat the river, but we can, we can bend it to our will and dam it for our own purposes. We now live in a time of endless possibility. More has been learned about the treatment of the human body in the last five years than was learned in the previous 500. 20 years ago, 39 was the number of years a man could expect from his life. Today, it is more than 47. Eventually, the train tunnels will crumble. The dams will be overrun. Our patients' hearts will all stop their beating. But we humans can get in a few good licks in battle before we surrender. Catherine, I will not stop pushing forward into a hopeful future. And with every blow I land, every extra year I give to a patient, I will remember my fallen friend Jules Michael Christensen. <laughs>